Hey, Astra Kids, and welcome back. And in today's video, we'll be talking about Rahu in the Saturn ruled nakshatras of Pushya, Anurata, and Otera Bhadrapada. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So, before we start, we first have to understand what does Rahu represent? And then, what do the asterisms of Pushya, Anurata, and Otera Bhadrapada represent? So Rahu represents our obsession, our desire. It is the thing that we are moving towards in this lifetime. Rahu is also a planet of illusion, of deception. It is the things that we see that are not there or that are not fulfilling as we thought they would be. Rahu is also a place of inexperience, of something that we have never done before, that we are brand new at. And so we can compensate in the area of Rahu, or we can tend to shy away from this area. Rahu also is a planet that deals with new age technology, that deals with machinery, that deals with the outside world. It is a planet that is all about observation, that is all about what is happening outside of ourselves. So if we look at Pushya, Pushya is the first Saturn ruled asterism that falls in the sign of Cancer. And Pusha is all about nourishment. It is represented by a lotus, which is all about gaining the nourishment and the nutrients. And so Pusha people are very focused on caring for themselves and others around them. They become caretakers, teachers, nurturers, people who are looking to bring welfare to society. And so what happens then when Rahu comes into Pusha? Well, ultimately, Rahu and Pusha is going to give a great desire to want to help, to want to nourish society at large. So definitely, this could be an individual who is into politics, who is into social reform, into social upliftment, trying to make the world a better place. Very charitable, very generous, wanting to get involved with social causes and movements. Now, at the same time, Rahu is a planet of obsession, of desire. So also there can be a tendency to want to get something out of helping other people. And so this can also come with a little bit of selfishness as well, of wanting to get name, recognition, fame, of receiving something in return, getting noticed for the good deeds that you're performing. And so definitely it's about learning how to be selfless, about learning how to do things not necessarily just to get something out of it or to be known for something, but in general to focus more so on helping people, on making the world a better place. Pusha also is a very traditional asterism as well that is all about religion, all about old traditions and values. So sometimes because Rahu is very much out of the ordinary, pushing past the boundaries, this can indicate wanting to do away with some old, outdated systems of belief. So Rahu and Pusha definitely can make you want to explore the truth behind various beliefs and viewpoints from the past. And if they don't seem to serve others, if they seem to be causing more oppression, then actually helping people, there can be a tendency to want to do away with those old systems, those old belief systems and traditions. This can also make you a very humble and honest person in your way of interacting with others as well. Pusha is about saintly behavior, or at least appearing saintly in a way. And so definitely this can indicate wanting to do good, wanting to express yourself in a way that is all about upholding certain principles and core values. So definitely it can make you a very honest, very truthful, very sincere person within society as well. And definitely very compassionate. Again, we're in the sign of cancer where this is extremely emotional. There's a high level of sensitivity. So you are very emotional about the suffering of other people, about the things that are happening within society. At the same time, though, because Pusha is ruled by Saturn, there is a certain level of maturity, of discipline, of patience that is in here as well. So although you are very sensitive, you also are very skilled at understanding how to maintain and manage your emotions as well as the emotions of others. So this can give you a great deal of empathy and emotional intelligence as well, which can make you an excellent leader 
influencer with this position. This can also make you interested in wanting to gain spiritual knowledge as well, because Pusha, again, is very much about those traditions, those values, those religious beliefs, and so forth. So this can make you a spiritual seeker with this position as well, wanting to gain and gather as much knowledge as possible. Definitely, though, this is ultimately about wanting to establish a sense of change within society, within the systems, the structures of society at large, wanting to do everything possible to try to help those in need. Pusha also is known for attracting a mentor or guide or support from someone in a position of authority. So this can also happen as well, where you can find yourself connected to people in positions of power, people in positions of influence in some way. And this can help to support your cause of wanting to make a difference within society. Sometimes it can even indicate that you yourself could attain a position of power that you can use as your base to try to influence change and help those in need. One of the difficulties with this placement, though, is a tendency to want to do everything on your own, to want to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. And so sometimes there's a need to accept the help of others, to be able to delegate, to drop this label or identity around wanting to do things on your own or being the one who does everything. Again, there's a need to get over the ego to a certain degree with this position also. So Anurada falls in Scorpio and Anurada deals with transformation, again, represented by a lotus similar to Pusha. This represents the ability to go from the most difficult or humble beginnings and to rise above it. This lotus starting off in the muddy water and blooming into this beautiful flower. So definitely Rahu and Anurada can take you through extreme transformation because not only is Anurada about transformation, but so is Rahu. Rahu and Ketu create sudden situations of change and intense events in our lives. So with Rahu and Anurada being about transformation, this will definitely take you through the highs and lows all throughout your life. This can make you a bit of an extremist as well in your approach towards life. There's an all or nothing approach of doing everything to the extreme degree. This can make you a very devoted person, especially when it comes to spirituality. You go all the way with everything that you pursue. This placement can also make you very bold and courageous because Scorpio is a sign that is able to withstand the obstacles of life. It is ruled by Mars, which gives that strength, that courage, that bravery to actually take a leap of faith, to be able to overcome difficulties and challenges. So this becomes a huge part of your journey with Rahu and Anurada is that you're someone who transforms to the difficulties of life. You have this strength within you where you can come back from difficult situations. In some cases, this can even indicate a rags to riches story or coming from a very challenging experience and being able to transform that into something better. And this is especially true if you are on a spiritual journey or if you are very much in tune with wanting to do the shadow work, wanting to work on yourself to make those improvements, then you have this ability to transform from the darkness to the light. And because of your tendency towards transformation and Rahu being about the external, this also makes you an agent of change in the world as well. You want to transform society at large. Again, similar to Pusha, you are going to be all about wanting to make a difference, wanting to help those in need. Anurada is an asterism that is able to rescue people from difficult situations. So it can even indicate doing something related to the medical medical field to firefighting, law enforcement could be seen sometimes as well. One of the difficulties with this placement, though, is making impulsive decisions based upon your feelings. There's a need to 
develop some level of maturity or control around your emotions. Anurada is a very explosive position, again, of doing things to the extreme. So sometimes there's a need to take a step back and to really think over your decisions and choices before taking this leap. If you're also someone who is not inclined towards religion or spirituality, this can also take you into mist. Mysticism, occult, astrology, tarot, magic, all of these things can be seen as well. One of the difficulties that also comes with Rahu and Anurada is that Anurada is about friendship, love, and devotion. And again, doing things to an extreme degree. So with Rahu here, this can also create obsessiveness about clinging on, attaching yourself to relationships that may not be healthy for you. Remember that Rahu is illusion. So there's a need to have some discernment with the people that you're dealing with with this position as well. With Rahu and Anurata, you may feel that you make a lot of mistakes in life or that things don't go the way that you would like them to. So definitely there's a need to detach yourself from the outcome of situations. The more spiritually inclined that you become, the more that you will find yourself listening to your inner voice and taking the right direction in life. But definitely this can take you to success in life. This can take you to the very heights of success with this position. So this can be very promising depending upon how this is placed in your chart. You're very interested also in finding your true purpose, your destiny in life. There is this interest in wanting to understand the purpose, the meaning of life, because Scorpio is all about digging for answers. It's all about wanting to unveil the truth. So this makes you very interested in wanting to uncover what is that true meaning? What is that true purpose within your life? This can definitely be a very adventurous placement as well. Scorpio being all about exploration. This can take you traveling to foreign places. It can get you interested in all sorts of research and exploration as well. Sometimes with this placement, you can find yourself getting into certain tragedies or accidents in life that may be heartbreaking as well. There's a need to really focus on how to lift yourself out of these difficult moments, how to not allow emotion to control you. And the more that you incorporate spiritual practices, calming, relaxing practices into your life, the more that this is going to help you to overcome those difficult pitfalls and to rise into your true power and success. A Terra Bhadrapada is the last Saturn ruled asterism falling in the middle part of Pisces. A Terra Bhadrapada deals a lot with transformation similar to Anurada going from the lows to the heights with this placement. It gives the ability to have this ability to rise from humble or difficult beginnings. There's a lot of strength that is in a Terra Bhadrapada. At the same time, it is a very emotional and sensitive position as well. And there may be a tendency to make the wrong decisions based off of emotion, based off of impulsive decisions early on in life. The Tara Bhadrapada also comes with a very old soul, a very mature and insightful understanding of spiritual knowledge. This can be a position that has a fascination with the occult, mysticism, astrology, wanting to dive deeper into the mysteries of life, very deep and introspective. A Tara Bhadrapada also is very much about similar to Anurada and Pusha, the welfare of society, wanting to make the world a better place, wanting to teach, to counsel, to get involved with certain movements and causes as well. So when Rahu is placed in a Tara Bhadrapada, this can definitely make you a teacher, a preacher, a religious or spiritual leader, someone who is very much interested in seeking out deeper spiritual meaning. This placement can get you into all sorts of occult, mysticism, rituals, remedies, all sorts of healing activities with this placement for sure. Definitely, you're very interested in wanting to live your best life, wanting to make improvements, adjustments, working on yourself. You're very interested in self-improvement and self-awareness 
with this placement, which can be very helpful along your journey. Definitely, you are able to raise your level of consciousness and through that to raise the level of other people's consciousness on the planet. Again, you tend to be a teacher with Rahu in Atara Bajrapada, even if it is not your official profession of actually being a teacher. In some way, you come across as a teacher, as a guide for other people. Definitely, it makes you a very deep and insightful person. You have very unique ideas. You have a lot of knowledge that is not always understood by others with this placement, but you're able to put this knowledge out to really awaken people to truths that they were unaware of. This also can make you very protective, very much about wanting to care for those in need, wanting to root on the underdog, wanting to make sure that others are safe and secure. One of the great things about this position also is that you're open-minded you're able to see the bigger picture to really get to the deeper meaning behind life. So you are constantly wanting to learn and gather new information to, again, continue to expand your level of consciousness. You're a very generous person, very much wanting to help, wanting to give back to society. And you can do this similar to Anurada and Pusha through a religious, political, spiritual base, trying to create a system of movement, a cause, a belief where you're trying to create change within society. Definitely, this could show that you're not just a religious person with this position, though. You are not just about believing or following behind a system of belief, but you are also about wanting to seek that deeper meaning, to seek that truth. So with this position, you may even go against religion and practice a system of spirituality that falls outside of dogma with this placement. This can definitely get you interested in meditation and to all sorts of spiritual and deeper practices with this position. And because of this, you can have full on intuitive abilities. You can access things that are unseen, unknown with this placement, really diving into the mysteries of life. But ultimately with this placement, you become a great helpmate to society, teaching, sharing, spreading your ideas to awaken other people to a higher truth. So I hope you all enjoyed this. If you like this, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video.